Oh, what is up, everybody? It's Superverse TV here today, and we're gonna talk about the war on JRPGs or these gatekeeping Sony fans. Uh, there's the the measurements they want to just just judge Xbox Xbox by is just so ridiculous. So apparently, because Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster is not doing too well on Xbox, it didn't crack the top fifty most on Xbox. Xbox is just not getting any JRPGs now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most ridiculous notion. And the fact that this thread got 393 likes, it's telling me there's just some brain rot on the Sony fanboy side. Like, geez. Who is excited to play some NES slash SNES Final Fantasy games? Raise your hand, and it would be absolutely nobody. <laughs> Maybe two people. But no, people don't want to play old Final Fantasy games. I can understand if this was like maybe the the new stuff, like the Final Fantasy VII Remake, Rebirth, or Final Fantasy XVI, then sure. But if you're judging Xbox gamers on their likeness of Japanese games based on some old Final Fantasy games, then it's just this is just a disingenuous conversation, to be honest. Like I can't I can't take your opinion seriously. But in this thread, you're gonna see Sony fans saying Xbox gamers. Shouldn't buy, shouldn't get Japanese games because this Final Fantasy Pixel Remastered game didn't do well on Xbox. I don't think this did well on PlayStation either. Like, who wants this? And can we not forget that Square Enix ended their PlayStation exclusivity because their recent games, the big budget ones, didn't even do well on PlayStation. They didn't, didn't do the numbers they wanted to do. So, why are we blaming the Xbox gamers for this remaster? This these NES games not doing well. It just makes no sense. First comment says, because the Xbox players just don't buy games. Really? From <laughs> this, is the, this is their conclusion from Final Fantasy Pixel Remastered games not doing well. Makes a lot of sense. F around and find out, hey, Square. <laughs> what are you talking about? You want to play some NES games? You want to play no NES games? Because you guys want to play no NES games, you guys don't deserve any other future games. What sense does that make? Yes, this is the same reason why they didn't put on the PS5. The audience is in Asia and on mobile, and they didn't put on the PS5 until Sony paid for it, and the same thing here. People don't understand how expensive uh, it is for 40-hour games. Okay. Okay, this is Xbox fans wanting Final Fantasy. They want the new stuff. Square Enix give you some give you some old NES games that's been quote unquote remastered. <laughs> Who wants that? <laughs> but Xbox is gonna save Square Enix though. This is so disingenuous. Like this this is so fraudulent right here. And this guy says, I'm sure I'm sure 16 will do better. Nobody says that. If, okay, if they released 16 on the same day it released on PlayStation, it would have did great numbers wise. But because they did it, if they do release it on Xbox, it's not going to do that well because most people probably played the game already. Whatever stragglers left are probably not going to be in great numbers. So, it's so this 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 Japanese games on Xbox conversation is so disingenuous. It is super disingenuous at this point in time. Well, we do have a bit. We do we do have two big Japanese games. Well, let's say one big Japanese game coming out very soon, and that's gonna be the new Dragon Ball Z game. So we're gonna see how that Dragon Ball Z game does on Xbox, and I'm pretty sure the numbers are gonna be pretty um, exceptional. So you know, what's gonna be the complaint then? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the people who made the Dragon Ball Z game are gonna be happy about those sales on Xbox. But if you keep doing disingenuous crap like this, and it's like. You're just butthurt that Xbox is getting Japanese games in general, so. No Game Pass, no party. That's why developers are skipping Xbox. <laughs> this is some crazy narratives over some old Final Fantasy games. They are 30 plus years old. I thought they were 20. They're 30 plus years old games. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're supposed to be excited about Pong next. Like, what are we, what are we doing here? Uh, it's not in the top 50 on PlayStation either. Yeah, when this game released, it wasn't in the top 50 on PlayStation either. So what are you talking about? <laughs> They're just on this anti-Xbox Japanese game crusade. And it's just ridiculous. 
I just did a video about this yesterday. Yeah, people were hating on Japanese games or ja uh, Xbox getting more Japanese marketing for their these games. And it's like these people are they like, just really hate that Xbox gets any Japanese support. It's just it's just weird. Yeah, that tends to be what happens when games get locked to a platform and don't build a fan base. But let's not forget what Final Fantasy wouldn't be coming to Xbox if PlayStation do supported games like they've been saying. Kind of true. Position 50 for $20 year old extremely outdated games for today's standards on the worst console platform is actually pretty impressive. I don't really get why people see this as a negative. They are Stone Age games. Are you kidding me? Charting on 50 is impressive for that. If they have to pay for it, it's not on Game Pass. They won't play it. These narratives are so dumb. Once again, the litmus test is going to be that new Dragon Ball Z game. That's a Japanese game. And I'm pretty sure that game is going to do very well on Xbox. So, it's not going to sell as much as PlayStation, obviously. But it's going to do pretty well. So, that should debunk that whole, like, people don't buy games. It's not on Game Pass. People don't buy Japanese games. That's going to debunk that nonsense. Or the true limits test for Square Enix if they release um, Kingdom Hearts 4, that, the newest Kingdom Hearts game on day and date with Xbox and PlayStation. No, we're running no Sony shenanigans where they're making the games exclusive. Then we'll see the sales then for these Japanese games and see if Xbox fans want these games or not. Because PlayStation, I don't know. Sony fans think they're the only people who like Japanese games for some reason. I don't, it's just weird. This logic is just so weird. <clears throat> Big Phil is flying the globe to try to get more Asian games on Xbox. If only he could read the room, read the room that the fans don't want 30 year old uh, Final Fantasy games. <laughs> yes, let's judge an entire fan base because they want about 30 year old Final Fantasy games. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> The Xbox only play Call of Duty NBA and Forza. Meanwhile, Call of Duty NBA are the top selling games on PlayStation as well. So, I mean, you just you just don't have Forza because it's exclusive. But if Forza was on PlayStation, it'd probably be up there as well. So, LMAO, no wonder devs are slowly skipping the inferior crap box. <laughs> Look at these words at the end. You know they butt hurt. Like, jeez. If it ain't on Game Pass, it was a doom before it began. You think that Square Enix would learn based on the numbers of Final Fantasy XIV dead on Xbox? Yes, another game where you have to... This is an MO where you have to dedicate a large chunk of your life just towards playing that one game. Most people ain't trying to do that. Well, I'm not trying to do that. Play an MMO, MMO like that, so... I'm not surprised. Xbox doesn't sell games. Its users just want meat for the Game Pass. <laughs> These comments are so stupid. Anyone pretend this was going to crack top 50 most played is actually effing delusional. Good comment. Because you got to be delusional that it's going to crack top 50 some old Final Fantasy games. Really? And so the idiots want to release their games on Xbox and they can't even sell anything. Once again. So many fanboys are just the most disingenuous people on the earth. On this planet. <laughs> Yes, because people don't buy these old Final Fantasy games. The crap box fanboy do not buy games. Okay. Because it's not on Game Pass. Okay. These are definitely not the dumbest comments humanly possible. <laughs> Final Fantasy is a dying multi franchise with a healthy fan base. Without a healthy fan base. All things to Square Enix and Sony exclusivity BS. Streamers must be kicking themselves right now forever accepting Sony's money and ignoring the other platforms for so long. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. They released Final Fantasy XV on Xbox. It did pretty great sales-wise. Sony came in with their BS exclusivity, and that kind of messed up Square Enix profits in the, long, in the long run. So, it definitely sucks, but... Hopefully they just put the their newest stuff on Xbox, their new triple A stuff, not some old Final Fantasy games. This guy says, only the Xbox podcasters care about having Square games on the console. No one else gives a damn. Yes, the 30 million people on Xbox, nobody just cares about Final Fantasy, apparently, according to this guy. 
they think they speak for everyone but only speak for themselves <laughs> could we say the same thing about this comment right here that you're only speaking for yourself but you're speaking for everybody the irony what are you even doing with Square Enix? Do you ever learn that Xbox gamers just don't buy or play your games? PC isn't much better. Yes. Only reason I'm playing my PlayStation right now is to play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. If it was on Xbox, I'll play it on there. Because I can't play it on Xbox, I gotta play it on PlayStation. So yes, just nobody plays Final Fantasy games on Xbox, apparently. That's not the fact that they're being money-headed off the system. <laughs> oh, man. Still better than Concord. Yeah, anything is better than Concord. This could not crack top 50. It's still doing better than Concord because Concord was dead after two weeks and a $200 million flop at that. If it's not on Peasant Pass, the Xbox just don't play it. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> and they keep, most of people keep writing the same stupid comment. Of course it isn't. It's not on the Rent Pass. They are so mad that Xbox has Game Pass. And they know if they had Game Pass on their system, then they would they would use it as well. But because PlayStation gives them some crappy imitation of Game Pass, they just settle for it. It bombed as expected. Hope Square Enix can see how dead of a console Xbox is. Once again, this is from 30-year-old Final Fantasy games. Because the 30-year-old Final Fantasy games that do well on Xbox, they should just never get any Japanese games at all. <laughs> Typical Xbox shill. Why is Xbox not receiving more Final Fantasy games? Good thing none of you people work at Square Enix. Because <laughs> this would be... You guys would make them go bankrupt. If you're judging the whole platform based on the interests of old games. It is crazy. Square Babes, you literally just saw Final Fantasy XIV flop on that thing, and I haven't seen any Xbox play on my timeline. In the EU service on that game, why are you wasting money on Xbox ports when it's just easy to do PC Switch PC? <laughs> so everybody should get Final Fantasy games except Xbox. The gatekeeping is insane. It is just insane. A lot of people just really hate Xbox. <laughs> they really want Xbox just not to exist. Because it challenges their precious PlayStation. It's just sad. But yeah. These are some of the most ridiculous comments I've seen about this subject. Once again. Xbox should get Japanese games. Just as PlayStation should. They only just don't do it. Because there's less people on Xbox. And it's because the Sony keeps money adding these different games. So other than that. Nobody expected this game to do well, and if you did, you're just an idiot. So, I'm going to conclude it right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below. Leave a like, like this video, and as always, thanks for watching, and peace.